All right, next little video you might be able to watch or want to watch, just review, good little topic, put you to sleep if you can't sleep, is Willie Brandt. All right, this is Willie Brandt over here. Uh, a couple little things about his background, just real quick. First off, he was a socialist back in Germany during the 30s. He was driven out or chose to flee uh, Germany when the Nazis came to power, so he spends actually World War II in Norway. He's got a really long name that's not Willy Brandt. While in Norway, he changes his name to Willy Brandt. After Hitler's defeat, he comes back to Pol uh, Germany. Remember, it's split in half, East and West Germany where he's asked to join politics and he becomes the mayor of West Berlin. West Berlin was completely isolated or surrounded by East Germany. So he is a um, now a capitalist, a uh, West German uh, mayor of only half of a city which is surrounded by the communist East German part. He'll become the West German Chancellor in 1964. West Germany is really known as the Federal Republic of Germany, and he will run uh, West Germany or the Federal Republic of Germany from 1969 to 1974. Um, the most important thing, the really the, the key part of this video, is this era of detente. This is really the image he's most known for. So the era of detente, again, this is the 1970s economic recession, uh, Cold War, East Europe and West Europe are split. They are, this is the peak of the uh, Soviet Union building missiles, the Americans building missiles. This is the peak of the Cold War where at any time we can nuke each other. The Vietnam War is still going on till 72, 73, uh, even into 74. So era of detente. Detente means uh, a peaceful coexistence. Detente is this relaxing of stress between the two. This guy being the Federal Republic of Germany or West Germany is right there in the middle of it. And so he is going to reach out to Poland, and we'll talk about that on the next slide, and bring some, some peace and stability, uh, easing of tensions, at least in Europe. What the Soviet Union and the Americans are still thinking and doing is not really that important to him. So you see Willy Brandt, you got to think detente or reconciliation between the West and the East. That's the key word, this era of detente. All right, a couple other things about demand though. Uh, Ostropolitik, that is another word to associate with him. It means Eastern policy. Eastern as in Eastern Germany. He will reach out, as I said on the last slide, in December of 1970. It's kind of the culmination of what he does, and he goes to the tomb of the unknown soldier in Warsaw, Poland. That's kind of a culmination of this Ostropolitik, or um, Eastern policy, his desire to work with uh, Eastern Europe, especially Eastern Germany. That, this, is going to lead to this. These are some of the detente, some of the things that he does, some of the accomplishments that he does that bring some peace to the middle of the Cold War. In 1970, he negotiates a treaty with the Soviet Union. Basically, we're not at war anymore. We don't have to be at war anymore. He starts or initiates the idea of trade, trade with the Soviet Union. Obviously, West Germany has been trading with Western Europe. This Cold War dividing line, Communist East, Free West. And he has been working with the West. He's now reaching out to the East. He also signs a non-aggression pact with Poland, officially ending that whole uh, controversy that started the war in 1939 uh, when the Nazis invaded it. He reaches out to them and says, we agree to your borders. Now, you got the East German half of the problem, but at least the West Germans are going to, to reach out and be happy and say, you know, let's, let's, let's work with each other, um, let's agree to the boundaries that we have, and let's reconcile, okay? So that goes back to this picture right here, which is December of 1970. When he reaches out again, he goes to the tomb of the unknown soldier. Um, he apologizes for what the Nazis did during the war. It doesn't make it okay. It doesn't just go away. You don't shake hands and say everything's fine. But it's this era of detente or cooperation or the idea of working together. So after these kind of things get passed and agreed upon, the things that were just up here that are not showing up again, um, that 
going to the tomb of the unknown soldier, uh, also talking to the Jews and a Jewish you know, down in Israel, apologizing, never should have happened. Again, doesn't make it all go away, but it, it's a step in the right direction. The culminating Willie Brandt thing will be right here. That's why I put this map in over here. The European steel and coal community, which maybe I'll make something about that later, um, is, a, is the beginning of the common market that we have today. It's the beginning of the euro, the money that they use today. Um, it was originally just six countries. Well, Willy Brandt is going to convince the French, who really were trying to go it alone. There's this guy named Charles de Gaulle. They were trying to do a lot of stuff and go solo and do their own thing. Willy Brandt is going to convince them, as the West German, to start to expand. So you can see the green is going to join in 73. Willy Brandt will be long gone um, when these other countries down here join and so on and so forth into the 80s and even into the 90s. And now today, this would be the uh, common market, the uh, EU, there we go, European Union, that uses the euro. So uh, Willy Brandt is an Austropolitik, Eastern policy, reaching out, reconciling with Eastern Europe. Soviet Union, Poland, and anyone else that wants to trade with him, and he is also a uh, detente, detente, a 1970s era of detente, cooperation, let's work together, all that kind of stuff.